He's the hero made of bread that all the bad guys dread. He's wholesome through and through, champion of healthy food. So when you're in a crunch, just call and order lunch. Sam Sandwich. The bite-sized adventures of Sam Sandwich. <laughs> That's it for today's workout. Don't forget to drink some water, Sam. It's important to stay hydrated, especially when you're exercising. Way ahead of you, laddie. Uh, did you just call me laddie? Yep, short for salad lad. Pretty snappy, huh? Can we just, uh, stick with Sal? Hmm, this water tastes sweeter than usual. Emergency alarm! There's a call coming in from David. To the giant video screen! Hi, Sam. Hi, salad lad. Hi, David! David. Guys, what's going on? The water from my faucet tastes sweet, like soda. I noticed it too. We have a serious problem here, David. Sweet drinks might taste good, but they're bad for your teeth, just like candy and cake. Here's what's causing that problem, Sam. Sweet Tooth is at the reservoir pouring soda mix into the water supply. There's no time to lose. Bye, David. See you at the reservoir, laddie. My super concentrated soda mix will soon turn the entire city's water supply sugary sweet. And no one in the world can stop me. Think again, Sweet Tooth. Sam Sandwich. And my partner, Laddie, here to put a stop to your sickly scheme. Never. Eat sugar frosting, breadhead. Ouch. Can't move. Frosting like glue. <laughs> That'll teach you to grapple with the gal who put the icky in sticky. Sam, try using your ankle rockets to free yourself. I just had an idea. I'll try using my ankle rockets to free myself. I just said that. I thought that voice sounded familiar. Your sticky tricks are no match for me, villain. Prepare to be vanquished. Sam sandwich to salad lad. Release the spaghetti shooter. Let's wrap this up, sweet tooth. Strung up by a sandwich. How humiliating. I may only be a sandwich, sweet tooth, but I'm a hero sandwich. Nice work, guys. This water tastes great. And now it's good for you, too. So remember to drink plenty of water every day. That's right, Laddie. Sam, I'd seriously appreciate it if you stopped calling me Laddie. Okay, if it means that much to you, I will never call you Laddie again. How about Sal Laddie? Uh-uh. Side salad? No way. Broccoli boy? Uh-uh. Veg lad? Not a chance. Crispy kid? There, my latest bad food busting invention is finished. Check it out, Sam. What is it? A video camera? That's great, Salad Lad. Now you can document my heroic deeds. Oh, it's not a video camera, Sam. It's actually a... There's a call coming in from David. Quick, Sam, change the channel. Hi, David. Guys, there's a cooking show on channel KOOK -OK that you better check out. Hi, kids. Welcome to Sweet Sue Sugar Chalet. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cake using lots and lots of sugar, sugar. I'm worried, Sam. Should that chef be using so much sugar in her cooking? No way, David. Sugary foods might taste good, but too much sugar is bad for your teeth and your health. Let's go. Bring your video camera, Sal. You can shoot some fantastic footage of me in high-flying action. Okay, Sam, but you know it really isn't a video camera. And then we add more sugar, sugar. Hi, kids. I'm here to teach Sweet Sue some healthier cooking habits. Sam Sandwich, how dare you invade my airtime, you doughy prima donna? Butter my slices. That voice sounds fiendishly familiar. Sweet Tooth. So you're the villain behind these sugary chef shenanigans. Sorry, kids. That's all we have time for today. Keep those cameras rolling. I'm on it, Sam. Hey, Sam, watch out. 
Looks like it's time to test my new invention. Uh, can't see! Sam, film Sweet Tooth! But you're supposed to be filming me, Sal. Oh, well. Hey, Sweet Tooth! Smile for the camera! Huh? Oh. <gasps> She's frozen stiff! Why didn't you tell me this isn't a video camera, Sal? Uh, I did try to tell you, Sam. It's my new Super Duper Flash Freezer. Nice work, partner. Now, here's a message for the kids at home. This is Sam's Sandwich, reminding you that some sugar in your diet is okay, but too much is bad for you. So go easy on the cakes and candy. Great job, Salad Lad. You guys stop kids from eating too much sugar and save the world from terrible TV. Well, I don't know about the last part, David. What do you mean? And where's Sam? I think being on television has gone to his head. He's still at the studio. Thank you, folks. And if you thought that was entertaining, wait till you see me do my bagel and cream cheese impersonation. Taking an official super team photo is a great idea, Sal. How do you come up with all these great ideas? By having whole grain brains, I guess. I'm going to pose with my latest invention, the lunch launcher. Move over a bit, Sam. But I should be in the middle. Why? Because I'm the hero, and you're my sidekick. I'm not a sidekick. Sidekicks just tag along on missions and get into trouble. Let's try that again. Emergency alarm! There's a call coming in from David. To the giant video screen! Hi, David! We've got a problem, guys. The new lunch lady at my school just posted the menu for tomorrow's lunch. She's only serving cotton candy and ice cream. That doesn't sound like a healthy lunch. That's right, Sam. Candy and ice cream might taste good, but they shouldn't be a meal. They don't contain the vitamins and minerals kids need to be healthy and strong. We'd better get down to David's school right away. Hmm, better bring my lunch launcher along, just in case. <laughs> if the kids eat these sugary lunches every day, they're gonna feel too sick to learn anything in class. Stop right there, lunch lady. Oh, no. It's Sam's sandwich and his sidekick salad lad. Hey, you can't call me a sidekick. My lettuce is starting to tingle, and that means there's a villain in the vicinity. So, my cupcake craniumed nemesis, Sweet Tooth. Okay, Flatface, maybe I'm not a lunch lady, but I'm still gonna serve you a meal you'll never forget. I hope you left room for dessert. Now to get back to my sickly tricks. I think you've forgotten something, Sweet Tooth. This is a two hero operation. Thanks for sharing your sugary snacks, Sweet Tooth. Time for me to return the favor. This is the worst bad hair day ever. Good work, Sam. You've saved the day. I couldn't have done it without you, partner. Nice job wrapping up Sweet Tooth's secret operation, guys. Tomorrow we'll have him pasta and fresh vegetables for lunch. Healthy food like that will give you all the energy you need for school. Hey, David, what do you think of our official super team photo? Very cool, Sam. Now, where are you going to hang it? As partners, you should decide together. It looks good right here, partner. Sorry, partner. I think it looks better over here. Over here. Over here. Uh, looks better here. Over here. Whoa, Sam, what is that terrible noise? I've just made it to accordion level on my extreme squeeze box video game. Well, maybe you should take a break from your awful accordion playing and look outside. Snow? But this is the middle of summer. Emergency alarm! There's a call coming in from David. Something strange is going on, guys. My dinner tastes super salty. Leaping lettuce! First a seasonally suspect snowstorm, and now this! I think our two mysteries are connected, Sam. The snow that's falling all over the city isn't snow at all. 
It's salt. So that's why my food tastes salty. I don't like the look of this, David. A pinch of salt improves flavor, but eating too much salty food is bad for your health and makes it hard for your body to work properly. Sam, it looks like the wind is blowing the salt in from the harbor. Let's go. See you in the sky, partner. Bye, David. Butter my breadcrumbs. What are those big, booming sounds? Looks like the salt is being shot out of that ship's cannon, Sal. I'm going down to investigate. Ahoy there, me old sandwich. Welcome aboard the good ship Salt Shaker. Salty pup, I should have known you were the dirty dog behind this dastardly attack. Oh, I'm shooting salt all over the city, so everyone's food will taste real salty. Then they're all gonna feel sick or heart icky. No, me wholesome hearty. How about a little more salt on them slices? No thanks, Salty. I like me just the way I am. Me beautiful cannon! Oh, you scurvy son of a pumpernickel! I'll slice you into quarters and feed you to the seagulls! Uh-oh, Sam's in trouble, but I think I know how to save him. Aha! A perfect opportunity to show off my accordion playing skills. I just hope he sounds as bad as he did on his video game version. He's a terrible musician, he be, Sam Sandwich. I can't stand to listen to that racket a minute longer. Abandoned ship! Nice work, guys. My food tastes much better without all that salt on it. And it's much better for you, too. See you later, David. Now I can get back to my extreme squeeze box video game. Not more accordion playing, Sam. Don't worry, Sal. I'm moving on to the next level. Bagpipes! No! Take that, you big bad food guy. Ah, <laughs> oh, this hero headquarters is a mess. Sam, could you please put things away after you've finished with them? No time to play put away right now, Sal. I'm busy preparing to save the world from dietary disaster. Emergency alarm! There's a call coming in from David. To the giant video screen! Sam, are you okay? Fine, thank you, David. What's the scoop? Guys, there's a treasure chest buried in a sandbox at my local playground. Butter my slices! Is it full of treasure? I'm afraid not, Sam. It's filled with salty chips and pretzels. I don't like the sound of that, Sam. Salty snacks might taste good, but eating too much salt makes it hard for your heart and other organs in your body to work properly. We'd better get down there before kids eat all those snacks, Sal. I'll bring my latest inventions. And I'll bring my skateboard. How will we find these salty snacks, Sal? Look, Sam. A map. Well spotted, partner. And it looks like it will lead us straight to the treasure. Sam, a pirate ship is invading the playground. I'd recognize that salt shaker shaped sea vessel anywhere. It's Salty Pup. Them swings and slides look like lots of fun. Pity the kiddies will feel too sick to play on them after gobbling down all me salty snacks. Sam Sandwich. Abandon that sandbox, you loaf-shaped landlubber! No way, Salty Pup. You may think tricking kids is fun, but it's not so fun for their tummy tum-tums. Step away from that chest or I'll keyhole your crusts! Good thing I brought my extendable asparagus saber. Here, Sam, catch! Thanks, partner. <laughs> On guard, Salty Pup! I've sailed the salty seas from here to Albuquerque and never lost a sword fight to a sandwich. Sam's in trouble. Good thing I also brought my super duper tomato shooter. You scuppered me sword, lads. But I'll soon be back to make more mischief. Hey, watch out for my skateboard. Yo ho ho! Nice job, Sam. Now that's what I call playing put away. Good work, guys. You know, fresh fruits and vegetables taste better than salty snacks anyway. Yep, and they're better for you. Hey, 
The HQ is looking tidy. Did you put away all your stuff, Sam? I sure did, David. I don't want to come to a slippery inn like Salty Pup. I'm just glad it's all out of the way. Good night, everybody. I'm off to bed. Uh, Sal, wait, don't... Um, <laughs> never mind. Check me out, dude. I'm Sammy Starcrust. I'm a rock star, baby. Yeehaw! I'm Kid Broccoli. Healthiest salad in the whole Wild West. The emergency alarm. There's a call coming in from David. To the giant video screen. Hi, uh, who are you guys? Where's Sam Sandwich and Salad Lad? Those dudes split the scene. We're Sammy Starcrust and Kid Broccoli. Sorry, Mr. Starcrust, but... Wait a minute. Sam, is that you? <laughs> we fooled you, David. We were trying on disguises. Very funny, guys. But it's time to get serious. There's a new restaurant just opened in the city called Biggie's Burgers, and they only serve mega-sized meals. Uh-oh. Food makes you grow and gives you energy, but eating too much food can slow you down and make you lazy. Let's get over there right away. Sam, wait, what about our disguises? Wear them, baby. We may need them to investigate. Boy, howdy, Sammy. They sure are big burgers. Let's go check the kitchen scene, dude. Come on down to Biggie's where the food is always big. It's a lot more fun when there's more on your barn at Biggie's. Yo, dude. Hey, customers aren't allowed in here. Chill out, man. We just came to ask why all your food is so humongous. Because after they've eaten my giant portions, kids won't have the energy to play sports or have fun anymore. Same sandwich and salad, lad. That's right, Big Cheese. And we just tricked you into telling us your evil plan. Me in my big mouth. Chomp on these, crusty cheeks. Hiya! They say cheese goes great on everything. Try some on your boots. Ah, my feet are stuck to the floor. Aluminum wrap. It's our only chance. I'm on it, Sam. Nice packaging, partner. Let's take this big cheese ball to go. Foiled again. Good work, Sal. Now Biggie's Burgers can start serving regular-sized meals. Then kids can eat just the right amount and won't feel tired and lazy. Our disguises worked great, too. Big Cheese had no idea who we were. That must be David calling to congratulate us. <laughs> it's just me. You know, you guys are right. Disguises are fun. <laughs> Maybe I should part my lettuce in the middle. Or maybe style it in a classic hero cowlick. Hurry it up, Sam. It's my turn to use the bathroom. The emergency alarm. There's a call coming in from David. To the giant video screen. Hi, David. Hi, Sam. Hi, Salad Lad. Wow, that's a big breakfast. Yes, and we have a big problem, Sam. A beam of light zapped through my kitchen window this morning and mega-sized my meal. And the same thing is happening to food all over the city. Uh-oh. Food makes you grow and gives you energy, but eating too much food can slow you down and make you lazy. If kids start eating those giant meals, we could have a crisis on our hands. I've located the source of the mega-sizer beam. It's coming from outer space. Let's go, Sam. Not so fast, Sal. I haven't finished fixing my lettuce. Preparing to leave Earth's atmosphere. Sam, please stop worrying about how you look and focus on flying. There. Style to perfection. Okay, Sal. I'm ready for action. Great galaxies. We're floating in outer space. Yes, and there's the source of the Megasizer beam. <laughs> Soon kids will be so tired from eating too much food that they won't be able to stop me from taking over the planet. Big cheese! I should have guessed that you'd be the moldy mastermind behind this sinister space caper. 
Boy, that speech was cheesier than I am. Oh, I'll blast you into breadcrumbs, Sam Sandwich. Sam, look out! Oops, I forgot my beam would make him bigger. Check out the new me. There's so much more to love. Your attack backfired, Big Cheese. Now that I'm three times as big as you, you'll never defeat me. That's what you think. I'll just use my mega shrinker beam to shrink you. Nice work, Sam. Your mirror reflected the beam right back at him. Let me go, you big loaf. I think we should give Big Cheese a new name. I've got it. How about Little Cheese? <laughs> <laughs> Great job, guys. Now my breakfast is big enough to help me grow and give me energy, but not so big that it'll slow me down and make me lazy. Hey, speaking of big, where's Sam? I'm fixing the Mega Shrinker Beam so that I can shrink him back to normal. When is it going to be ready? Uh, sometime soon. There's no big hurry. Hey, Sal, shrink me back down again. It's my turn to use the bathroom. Sam, what is that awful smell? My feet were sore after this morning's workout, Sal, so I'm soaking them in a bowl of warm cheese sauce. It might smell bad, but it feels so good on my tired tootsies. Emergency alarm! There's a call coming in from David. Guys, I've just been down to my local supermarket. Everything in the produce section has been deep fried. Deep fried apples, deep fried tomatoes, even deep fried lettuce. This is terrible news, David. Fresh fruit and vegetables are vital for a healthy diet. And eating too much deep fried food makes kids feel tired and lazy, so they don't want to play or exercise. We'd better head over to the supermarket right away. But Sam, what about your cheesy feet? No time to wash them now, Sal. See you later, David. Look down below, Sam. That truck is delivering the deep fried food to the supermarket. Stop this dastardly delivery at once. This food isn't fresh, it's deep fried. Fryborg! I should have known you were the mad mechanical mastermind behind this sneaky supermarket scheme. If it isn't Sam Sandwich, the world's freshest Super Zero. Let's see how frisky you feel after I fried your slices into French toast. Don't worry, Sam. I'll tip him over with this forklift truck. Ah, missed me. <gasps> Time to turn you into crispy tempura salad, lad. Sam, help! I'm trying, Sal. My high-energy carbo karate kicks are having no effect. You'll have to use your secret weapons. My secret what? Take off your boots! Message understood, Sal. Secret weapons ready to be activated? Now! Ah! What is happening to me? Stinky cheese mouth overloading my sensors. <laughs> now that's how you defeat a villain. Good work, guys. The supermarket is back to selling fresh produce again. That's great, David. When it comes to healthy food shopping, fresh fruit and vegetables are the way to go. So, did Sam ever wash his stinky feet? Yes, thank goodness. Those are two secret weapons I don't ever want to smell again. Okay, Sal. Dinner's ready. Mmm, I am hungry. I've cooked up a special meal to celebrate our victory. Great, what is it? Macaroni and stinky cheese. No! He spins it, he scores. Better pick up the pace, Sam. You've just lost three games in a row. Huh, no fair. Why no fair? Cause you're a better table tennis player than me. Okay, Sam. What do you think would make the game fair? You could play without a paddle. Without a paddle? But how would I hit the ball? Maybe you could blow on it. That gives me an idea for a new crime-fighting contraption. Emergency alarm! There's a call coming in from David. To the giant video screen! 
Hi, Sam Sandwich. Hi, Salad Lad. Hi, Hi David. David. Guys, there's a lunch truck in the park advertising free deep fried food for kids. And I'm talking deep fried pizza, hot dogs, even deep fried candy. Eating too much deep fried food makes kids feel tired and lazy, so they don't want to play or exercise. Thundering breadcrumbs. Looks like we have a serious problem on our hands. Bye, David. as you want. It's all free and it's all fried. I recognize those tinny tones. Show your true self, villain. Fryborg, I knew it. Your deep frying days are over, robot. I'll batter you up and sizzle you to a crisp, you half-baked hoagie. Sam, try clogging his cogs with some mustard. Hope you brought your bib, Buster, because this is about to get messy. You think a sloppy condiment can stop Fryborg? <laughs> Sam's in trouble, and I'm out of gizmos. Time to test out Operation Table Tennis. Help! I'm too young to fry. Ouch! 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 Hey, cut that out! An oil valve. If I can just... What is happening to me? Without oil to grease his gears, Fryboard can't move. Good thinking, Sam. Great work, guys. Fresh fruits and veggies make better snacks than deep fried food, and will give you a lot more energy. You got it, David. Now, if you'll excuse us, my partner and I have a game to finish. Sal, you have to play without a paddle, remember? Yep, I remember. I'll just blow them back to you. Okay, Sam to serve <laughs> and to win. Hey! Oh! Ow! Wait! No, no! Turn it off! Oh! Hey! No fair! Um. That's an odd tune you're humming, Sam. I've taken up yoga, Sal. It's a great way to exercise, especially when it's too hot to go jogging. This weather is too hot for my vegetable garden, too. These little guys could really do with some rain. Looks like your veggies got their wish, Sal. Quick, back inside before your slices get soggy. Hold still, Sal. There's a stick of rain stuck in your broccoli. A stick of rain? Sam, it isn't raining rain outside. It's raining french fries. Quick, there's a call coming in from David. Guys, french fries are raining down all over the city. And I'm worried that kids are going to eat them all. Uh-oh. Eating too much deep fried food makes kids feel tired and lazy, so they won't want to play or exercise. Preposterous precipitation. We'd better investigate this unhealthy weather pattern. See you in the sky, salad lad. Looks clear, Sam. Keep your pips peeled, partner. This could be the calm before the storm. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Look out, Sam. Unidentified frying object heading straight for us. Here comes the fry or fryer of the skies. When kids eat my French fries, they'll get a big surprise. Fryborg, you deep fried fiend. Stop sprinkling those French fries over the city. Blow away, breadhead, or I'll fry your crust. To an oily crisp. Sam, I have an idea. Steer Fryborg towards that storm cloud. 10 4, Sal. Hey, Fryborg, all that fried food must be really slowing you down. I'm faster than you, Sam Sandwich. Then try to catch me, slow poke. <laughs> ha ha! Victory is mine. Oh, my whole grain! What just happened? Fryborg forgot that big metal objects attract lightning bolts. All we had to do was steer him close to that storm cloud, and Mother Nature took care of the rest. Uh-oh. No more flying and frying for me from now on. Looks like it's raining again, Sal. Yes. 
But it's real rain this time, David. It'll make my vegetables grow big and strong. And fresh fruits and vegetables are better than french fries because they're not cooked in fat and oil. Excuse me, guys. I'm off to finish my yoga exercises. Sam, you can't do yoga in the rain. You can if it's aqua yoga. Oh.